song are you humming, Joe? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. I, I'm just curious. I mean, maybe the humming uh, it answers my question, but how does a defensive, we, we all know you could score, but how does a defensive performance uh, like that leave you feeling? Um, yeah, obviously we feel pretty good just after two, you know, I felt like, super sound efforts where we executed the game plan. Um, you know, we were sacrificing for one another, especially on the defensive end. You know, it seemed like we were closing a lot of the gaps to so just the level of atten intensity and attention to detail, especially on the defensive end, probably some of the best, um, you know, possessions, quarters that we've had all season. Thank you. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, what's going on, Joe? I'm wondering if as the competition gets stronger, as you go deeper into the playoffs, if you look at some of these teams that you're playing as kind of a, a barometer or, or a measuring stick for where you guys are and to beat them by, uh, I think it's 39 tonight. Just how, how, how do you guys feel after a win like this? Um, we obviously feel good, but at the same time, we know that, you know, there's still a lot of basketball to be played. Um, now the whole mindset is not to be complacent or relax. It's to have the same level of focus and preparation going into game three. You know, it's going to be a tough environment in Milwaukee. We know that they are definitely going to uh, play a lot better than they than they did these last two games here in Brooklyn. And, um, you know, our, our, our attention to detail, our focus, all of that has to remain the same going into game three. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Joe, how do you guys explain the elevation of defensive effort uh is is it scheme is it or is it just effort or you know what are you guys doing uh to play such improved defense compared to the regular season um i think a lot of it is effort uh just a level of continuity where you know i think as the season has gone on we've improved on the defensive end and that's just you know just the ability to play off of one another We've always kind of been able to do that offensively just because of the level of talent we have. But defense is, you know, it takes time to get familiar with one another and piece it together where, you know, you're playing so in sync that you're covering for each other. Uh, and, um, you know, that combined with the fact that, you know, love, high level of intensity, high level of preparation, and you have defensive efforts like tonight. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Joe, this was a historic offense during the regular season, and it feels like you guys have somehow kicked it up. Uh, another level. What have you seen from you guys uh, being able to even find another gear there? Um, I think, honestly, the a lot of the defensive possessions turn into really good offensive possessions. Um, when we were able to get a stop and get out in transition, you know, we're efficient when we're in the half court, but we're even more efficient when we're able to get out in transition. Surat Sohi with the ringer. Hey, Joe, um, I was just wondering, you know, what, what your thoughts are on why it is that you guys seem to hum along on offense pretty much no matter who it is that's playing. I think we just have uh, so many talented players on the offensive end and we're, you know, we're, we, we fit well together, the pieces that are out there. Um, and, uh, you know, you take away one option, we just have you know, a lot of a lot of counters, whatever, you know, schematics you might might be thrown at you. You just have a lot of capable players that play with a lot of confidence. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Joe. Uh, I'm curious, specifically as it regards to uh, Bruce and Blake, I mean, how contagious is it the way they have played defense? What have they contributed on that end of the court? Yeah, they've been awesome. Um, I think, you know, just... Uh, level of intensity um you know no, no matter who bruce or, or bg is guarding you know they're they're doing all the little stuff where you know you're, you have consistent ball pressure you have a level of physicality and you know any sort of 50 50 ball it seems like blake is getting on it um guys are sacrificing their body and just you know the level of communication whatever it might be those guys are just you know the 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 constant sort of you know quarterback on that on that defensive end and uh you know, a night like tonight is no different.